My parents are here tonight. You know, my mom and dad gave me a lot of things growing up. But my mother taught me how to pray. And every night when I would go to bed, you know how when your kids are pretending you're asleep, my dad would open the door and he always said the same thing. God. What an awesome thing to wish for your child. My parents raised me in a church a lot like this one. And when I was nine years old, I stepped out of the aisle on a Sunday night, and I asked Jesus to be my Lord and Savior, to come into my heart, to forgive me of my sins, and he did. And I made a promise to him that night to live my life for him, to go where he wanted me to go, do what he wanted me to do. And he made a commitment to me to stay by my side, to never leave, and to someday stand in my place and intervene on my behalf. I tell my children, by the time I was 16, I was so active in church that I had a key to the building. <laughs> That's true. What I don't tell my children, but they're here tonight, so they're here, is that, you know, in my late teens and in my 20s, I found myself not going to church anymore. When I moved out of my parents' house, instead of singing in the church choir or solos on Sundays, I found myself in my guitar in places my daddy would call a honky tonk. Because, you see, I started living my life for me. And I started doing what I wanted to do, when I wanted to do it. But I want y'all, my church family, to know that even though I let go of Jesus, he never let go of me. Hallelujah. Because he kept his commitment. Because he meant it when he said, I'll be with you always. Because he meant it when he said, nothing in this world can snatch you from my hand. I believe in proof of that. I have not sang in church in over 25 years. Mom and Dad, I'm sorry it took me so long. But for the first time, I told my Sunday school class this morning, for the first time in over 25 years, I'm not singing for me. I'm singing for him. And we just sang the song that I'm going to sing again because there's something about his name. And there's one more thing I want to say. If you know Jesus, then you know what I'm talking about. And if you don't know him, then I hope that before the day's over that you'd come to know him because there's nobody like him. I told Brother Craig one day, I said, you know, the great thing about Jesus that he is who he said he was. So I'm going to sing. Y'all pray for me. But I'm going to sing for him.
Jesus, Jesus. 